All right, you guys, I'm back with another box opening. And really, I am taking a bit of an early, an early break. I was expecting to do this in about 10 minutes, but then I realized I have a meeting in 10 minutes, and so I'm gonna do it now. And we'll pause if we need to pause. But my baby came. Um, this is the one that shipped out, um, you know, three weeks, almost three and a half weeks ago. I think um, she, she hit, she was released from her country of origin, which was Russia on the 7th, which is the 6th my time, and then nothing. And then this morning she was at my post office. So she's here. So she's been sitting on my bed for a couple hours and now um, I've reached the, the end of my patience <laughs> it, of anticipation to see her. So I haven't opened the box. I mean, I cut the tape. So paperwork right on top. Good, it's a fairly simple box opening. Let's, we'll put the paperwork aside for now as per usual. Oh, I had a name all picked out for this baby and then I had a different name pop up that I really like, but now I've got another baby coming so she may get that name. So we're gonna see, I'll think about it. Oh good, her crochet. Okay, so first of all, she's got this super posh, like, Dior, um, I don't know, um, dummy. Hopefully you can see that. And what was ironic was the original name I had for her started with a D. So that kind of makes me think about sticking with it. She must be wearing the outfit because this hat goes with the outfit that I saw in her pictures. It's really nice. And here's the other outfit. Well, this is the other uh, bonnet and receiving blanket because I think she had been naked except for her belly plate. It's a little bears and it says something, probably my baby <laughs> in, I would, I would assume that that's Russian. It's nice, nice fabric. And then her little um, diaper bunny. Yay! And we're here to the baby. I'm so curious to see this sculpt. Oh, she's heavy. Oh, and we have a hairbrush. A blue hairbrush. All right. That's most definitely her head. Wow, is she heavy? I am shocked. The babies I've been getting from Russia lately have a nice weight to them. How is that? Yeah, it's the way I have this phone in, in the tripod. The camera is down here at the bottom. So we're getting a little different angle than I usually get, but that's okay. And I found that my scissors are gone from the room, so that... Okay. Wow, is she heavy, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know exactly who this is in the blanket because I even put it on my story this morning that she was here. This blanket is really minky. I was really getting worried that she was lost. Really, really, really lost. Okay, here she is. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I fell in love with this sculpt and I started seeing it everywhere and I was just like, I have to have one. I have to have one. And then I went out and found her. I don't know if you can tell how fuzzy these booties are. They're very fuzzy. Oh, she's got two pairs of booties on. Look at that. So these outer ones go with the jacket, which is a Hello Kitty jacket. Oh my goodness, your little feet. These are really cute. You have fat little Oh my gosh. So far, I am pleased with the painting. These chubby, chubby feet. Okay, to me, this is the most defining feature of this sculpt other than the face. So if you're familiar with the sculpt, you'll recognize this hand. Oop. No diaper. So this jacket is super fuzzy. She's got her belly plate on underneath this outfit too. I've been into the chunkier babies lately. Although I do adore my Charlotte, who's just a little pip. <clears throat> okay, here's her little stub arms. She has good veining. She has a nice skin tone, pretty good um, creasing. Okay, we're gonna show her face. Let's zoom in so you can see her face. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Is she gorgeous? Wow, is she gorgeous? Oh, she's so pretty. Okay. We have to whisper, of course, because there's a newborn. Oh my gosh. Hi, chunky monkey. Who doesn't know this sculpt? If you don't know this sculpt, this is Lulu by Joanna Kazmierczak. Look at her, you guys. She is extremely heavy, which is awesome. Look at your little pouty lips, holy joy. Let's open this up so you can see her belly plate real quick. And I can see her belly plate real quick. Very nice. Oh my goodness, she's very realistic. I love her, you guys. How do we button this? Oh, hi, beauty girl. She has the nice sparse rooting and it's very nicely rooted too. Her hair is similar to, um, to Dove's hair actually. Look at these little lips. Oh yeah, this sculpt is really realistic. I love her. I love her. I love her. Oh my goodness. I'm going to show you a little close up. We'll take the camera down here real quick. And then I gotta pause. 
Wow, she's so cute. She's so chunky. You guys. I love her. Look at the feet. Look at her. She's so pretty. Look at those feet on that sculpt, the sculpting. All these rolls. And she's just sleeping away. Oh, she's precious. Just precious. I love her. Okay, I'm going to pause here. Um, I'm going to pause here and then I won't post this until I come back and show you a little bit more of her. And, uh, and do a changing. <gasps> I love her. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, let's finish this up. I have her now in front of the window in natural light so you can see her a little bit better uh, without the yellow overhead. Um, let's start with her paperwork and then we're going to take off this outfit. You'll be able to see her belly plate and then I'm going to put her into an outfit that her Auntie Ashley sent for her. Um, well, I think she sent it for her. I've decided it's her coming home outfit. I already showed you the pacifier. So her paperwork was presented like this. In this nice little Ziploc bag. On the outside, we have some cards from the artist. So, um, her name is Victoria Vishnia. Don't mind the dogs barking. I found her on Facebook, you guys, because a lot of people ask how to find these artists. So here is her certificate of authenticity. Lulu, this is number 1773 out of 2100. And then her birth certificate, Let's see. Victoria Vishnia. She was born on February 12th. Fifty-one centimeters. And I can't read all of it, so. And then care instructions. They're in Russian though. But I could translate that if I needed to. I was just thinking about how I haven't been getting care instructions with a lot of the dolls lately. And I started wondering if they're not being sent anymore. Maybe artists are not sending them to collectors. They now have a bunch of dolls or maybe it's just kind of the luck of the draw for me lately. <laughs> All right. So let's look at this little scrumptious munchkin. She's This sculpt is really realistic. I guess I don't need to doesn't, I guess it loosens a little bit. So we're just going to take this outfit off of her. I know that it will go back on her eventually, but I, I did want to make sure to put her coming home outfit on because that's what I've been um, planning to do. I've been very interested to see this kit in person because there's been a lot of discussion about the proportions of the limbs and all of that. So I, I wanted to see how I would like it. Um, and I like her. I like her a lot. So we're about to find out. <laughs> she doesn't have a diaper on. So I'll go get that diaper she came home with. Oh yeah, she is heavy though. I love it. So here she is. This is a doll, you guys. She's a cloth body under here. And so her belly plate is um, fixed around her with elastic. When we take that off, I'll show you, but wow, that's smart. Look at that. Snap a picture. She's cute. Let's get a diaper though. 
We'll have to make sure we put on here that this is a doll. There's her diaper. Bunny. Here, let's come. Look at the belly button. love her. I definitely love her. Okay. Very well done, Joanna. And very well done, Victoria. She's a uh, lightning in a bottle, I'd say. Joanna's done that before. And I, I just think the sculpt is that. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take her belly plate off. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. All right. Look how smart. So she's got it across the waist here and then up here at the arms. Very clever. Very clever. And the vinyl is soft enough on the belly plate that it flexes a bit. And then There we go. Clever, clever. I love that. Hi, little girl. She's really cute, you guys. This diaper is big. This diaper is big, big, big. I think, I think I'm gonna get a different diaper for her because this diaper looks, looks more like a six month old. I think she's more like three. Hopefully this one won't be too small. We're going to give it a shot. We're sliding away. Come back. <gasps> Come back. She's so cute, you guys. I'm very happy with her. I am getting a little addicted to not having diapers on the dolls. Because <laughs> they move so much so well. And they're not restricted in the waist, but I guess I can just put make sure that I have on a diaper that's big enough and not pulled too tight. That'll probably help. Because I do like diaper butt too. Oh, she is so cute, you guys. Okay, so this is the outfit from Ashley. She's got these polka dot pants this onesie that says new to the crew and a little pink cardigan. I love it. And then we'll put her blue bow back on with that. So new to the crew from Ray Dunn baby. So is this kit sold out yet? I don't think it's totally sold out yet, but it's getting close. I mean, she's 1773 of 2100. Twenty one hundred's a good number. I mean, there's a lot of Lulus around. Oh my gosh, I can't even handle you. I cannot even handle you. She's amazing. <laughs> she's amazing, look at her. Okay. Oh my gosh. This baby is very realistic. Hi, you're smaller than I thought. I'm so happy about that. Look at her, you guys. Come here and just slide in the way. Wow. Look, let's see this real quick. Now, normally I would just stop right here and just leave her in the onesie, but Ashley is really good at putting together outfits 
And so when I saw this, I thought it was a really cute outfit. So I have, and I could picture it on her too. So I've got to follow through and put it on. Ashley's over at Baby Love Heartsmith, by the way. She has a YouTube channel and an Instagram. And I would say, I would say that her, the way she styles her baby is amongst my favorite of everyone. <laughs> Sorry for the sliding. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. All right, so there's that with your little fat feet. And now we need your sweater and we'll brush your hair just a tad. You don't have much of it. I think we'll make sure you're in the light here too. Put your bow back on and you will be good to go. Oh yeah, she's a winner. She is a winner. Yes, she is. Oh. I hear my work email blowing up. <laughs> I'm on lunch though. Real quick. Let's pause for a sec. All right, I thought I hit start again, but I didn't. Anyway, I was just getting her sweater on and I was talking about her proportions a little bit. I didn't notice anything that was terribly unrealistic with her proportions. I've noticed what I think people refer to um, in pictures, and that's that I think her thigh is maybe a little shorter than would be perfect proportions on the legs, but I don't know. I didn't, I think maybe I'm so enamored with her face I didn't notice anything, but I, did, I didn't notice anything. She's sinking into this boppy. I want to put her bow back on her. And then we'll move the camera. I wonder if we come over here. Wouldn't be cute. just reverse it real quick you guys there we go it's better there we go there she is can see her hair. Hmm. New to the crew. Welcome. Welcome, little girl. Very happy with her. Very happy with her. Okay guys, we are crumpled up on the floor like pretty much under my work desk. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. <laughs> but thanks for stopping by. I hope you like her. I know I do, I'm very pleased. We're happy she's here and I needed a baby box opening. Uh, how's that for uh, Dolly Addicted, right? Look at her. Okay, all right. Much love. Bye for now.